make a nigga wanna marry me. I said I wanna make a nigga wanna marry me. I said I wanna, I don't do the ghetto. I just don't do if the boy on food stamps. <laughs> That boy on food steps. So, yeah, I, he took way too ghetto. He stayed in ghetto. <laughs> he, he stayed in a ghetto neighborhood. Absolutely. You know, my mama don't like ghetto men like that. She like nice and educated men. You know, men with money. Absolutely. You know? Oh, man, shut up. You got a black ass soul. Like, you, you're not a good person, Mel. You got a dark soul. And your point is... Come on, bitch. Come on. I said I want to make a nigga want to marry me. I, I want to make a nigga want to marry me. But I won't marry a boy in the ghetto. Maybe in the country, but he just can't be too ghetto. Can't, no food stamps. You need a check and savings account, IRA. You need to be invested in the stock market. Absolutely. My mama don't do broke. She don't. Absolutely. The boy need to have a college education fund set up for his children if he wants to date me. Okay. My favorite fragrance. Uh, I like that Gucci and that YSL. Okay, don't ask me why. But that's, that's what I like. You know, the shit that I got, it has to, it gotta cost money. You know, I, I don't, I don't do broke. And not only do I don't do broke, you know, I don't do ghetto, <laughs> you know, and I don't do the ghetto people on the show. I told Melody several times to leave the ghetto ass show, but she just wants to keep showing up. So what, what can you do, right? You know, you just got to be supportive of your children. Absolutely. You know, my mama, you know, she support all of my endeavors. So I'm I'm so fortunate and blessed, you know. I don't have a ghetto-ass mammy like Miss Wanda. A man that talking about my mama. Like Martel, Martel told Melody that he a hood booker. Your hook bugger and he gonna break your heart, but did she want to listen? No. That's why her ass over there singing that damn Tento sign. But but quiet as kept, I, I, I said, don't you see all the signs and symptoms and warnings? Okay, the boy, the boy should have came with directions. He really, he really took my girl through it. I told her, we just don't do ghetto in this family. Melody kept insisting. Okay, she kept trying to go down to the to the first floor, I told her the boys, honey, the boys that really count, the boys that really mean something to you, the ones that's gonna be good to you, they from that top floor, and to ignore all the, all the boys on the on the first floor that mow grass and you know wanna be in everybody's ass and you know that's why he was over there with that ooga booga bear that that Ariane girl the girl that looked like D W from Arthur yes well I told Melody that he liked them ghetto girls cause he is ghetto okay you know ghetto a little bit hood okay he just way too ghetto for me. <laughs> that boy got roaches in his house. Got got roaches, okay? And I don't trust my tail. You know, I hope the melody get custody of the kids. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, Mama did warn me about him, but, you know, it was something about the first floor. <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm a fool. Okay? I'm a dude. I'm a fool, honey. But it's just way too ghetto in here for me. I think it's, I think it's time for me to be on the move. 
you know, just only, you know, I only stay at La Hilton, you know, I don't do the Marriott, and I don't do Days Inn, and I don't do Holiday Inn, just way too ghetto, only Hilton, only Hilton for me, I'm, I'm voting for Trump, I, I'm just playing, I'm sure Miss Van is not voting for Trump, but it was, you know, I was on a roll. Okay, listen. Okay, I the later. Let me get back into my Miss Van. I'm a later, you know. I just, I don't do ghetto. I don't hang with hood bookers. You know, I like chicken fingers and french fries. That's what I like. And I want it fried. Don't come to me with nothing baked. Okay, I love, I love to love on my grandkids, you know, and my daughter is actually Melody, she's actually a really good parent, you know, that Martell, he likes to be performative with his parenting of the children, you know, he want to act like he care about those kids, but all he wants to do is keep tabs on Melody, I kept telling her that that boy ain't no good, and all he know how to do is be down to that first floor, acting like a devil, acting like a demon, you know, acting like a little Chucky die, little buddy. Okay, so, you know, he's a way too ghetto and off the chain for me. You know, I tried to help uh, my soul brother, Mark. I tried to help that fool, but all he did was went out and lied on me and said that we used to be a couple. He's a way, way too ghetto for me. He was on full stamps when we when we was being friends, you know, he, he was on the stamps and I was giving him change and, you know, I was giving that boy jobs, you know, that way he, you know, could feel like a man again, you know, he was always begging for money, just, he's way too first floor for me, he not, he was never my man, we, we were friends, okay, I'm a lady, I, what are you trying to say about me, I'm, I'm from that top floor, okay, that boy way too ghetto for me, <laughs> so offended uh, she was like we spent time together you know I would try to see him he just come see me you know but we was just friends and then Miss Wanda her nasty ass her ghetto ass got to accuse Miss Van honey of being in a tape what is wrong with them Scots honey just ghetto you know ghetto a little bit hood Damn hood boogers from the other side of the tracks. And Marceau, that includes your big head ass, too. Okay, Lissy. But, honey, let me get on out of here. This, is, this show is way too ghetto for me. I need to get on a better show. That girl brand new. Just too ghetto. Okay, just, oh, my God. It just, it's not enough air conditioner up in here. Like, it's trying to burn me up. Charles, where to get to? You need a better, better home to be in brand new. Because this is just, you know, it's just way too first floor for me. It's not good enough, okay? I look too good to be up in this this tiny house, you know? It's, it's a tiny house. You could buy the house off of Amazon, okay? Get this shit together. <laughs> This is not merit to hip hop. Get that ghetto shit out of here. <laughs> that the hell, Mariah. This is not merit to hip hop. Get that ghetto shit out of here. When I tell you, I how, oh my God. I said that to my daughter. She was cracking up. That fucking Mariah just fool. Y'all know I don't even do Mariah, but when when she funny, she funny. That shit is classic, okay? Because she looked so offended, honey. I was like, oh, my God. 
Oh my God, but honey, I'm gonna get on out of here because it's just a way to get to for me. She don't, oh, what do you pay? What do you pay to live up in here, brand new? Like, I'm gonna have to show you what money look like because it look like you seen full stamps, but you may seen real money. You know, I make millions. Okay, <laughs> okay, uh, Miss Bear, I can't have you, you know, dragging my place down. Okay, listen, can't have that. But here, uh, honey, let me get my crazy ass up out of here, honey. Just clowning, just a damn fool. Okay, I am a big ball of fun. I am a party that not everybody is invited to. And honey, they be mad. They be mad. But honey, Miss Robson got boundaries. Okay, because I don't do ghetto. I really don't. Okay, get that ghetto shit up out of here, honey. This is not married to hip hop, honey. Listen, okay, I am out. Check you guys out in the next video.